Located in the heart of Orange County, California, Irvine is known worldwide as one of the most sought after communities in which to live. Irvine boasts of safe streets, beautiful neighborhoods, top ranked schools, pristine open space, and world-class commercial and business centers. Irvine truly is a great place to live, work, and play. But the success story that is Irvine didn't just happen. It grew out of the vision and hard work of many people, starting with a Scottish-Irish immigrant who lived 150 years ago. James Irvine came to San Francisco during the California Gold Rush. In the mid-1800s, after briefly trying mining, Irvine found there was more money in selling goods and services to miners than hunting for gold. By his late 20s, James Irvine established himself as one of San Francisco's most successful merchants and soon found riches in real estate. In 1864, Irvine purchased 125,000 acres of land, stretching from the Pacific Ocean to the San Bernardino County line that became the Irvine Ranch. He used the land for farming and raising sheep till his death in 1886. His son, James Harvey Irvine, started the Irvine Company in 1894 to help manage the vast ranch and transformed it into the nation's largest lima bean producer. The Irvine Ranch also provided acres of celery, corn, sugar beets, chili peppers, alfalfa, barley, black-eyed peas, potatoes, avocados, walnut, orange, and lemon trees. As the farming community grew, so did the need for housing, schools, a railroad, mail services, and other daily necessities. A town soon began to grow. The outbreak of World War II signaled the beginning of the end of the Irvine agricultural empire. With the need for more military bases, the United States government asked James Harvey Irvine to sell them 3,900 acres of his best farmland to form the El Toro Marine Corps Air Station. When James Harvey died in 1947, his son, Myford, became the third generation Irvine to control the Irvine Ranch. Between 1947 and 1959, the population of Orange County grew from 200,000 to 700,000. Myford, known for his love of the social life, quickly began to steer the Irvine Ranch away from agriculture and toward commercial and residential development to capitalize on this population growth. Myford even spent a quarter of a million dollars to host the 50th Boy Scout Jamboree, a project which required the implementation of infrastructure, which could also support future development. Myford died in 1959, leaving the Irvine Ranch property completely in the hands of the Irvine Company. Within a year, the Irvine Company announced that it would provide 1,500 acres of land to the Regents of the University of California to form a campus in Irvine. Noted architect William Pereira designed the university community in the shape of a wheel with spokes or schools radiating out from a central open space core. The Irvine Company was so impressed with his approach that they commissioned Pereira to create a master plan for the entire Irvine Ranch. In 1970, the Irvine Company presented a revised master plan for the Irvine area to Orange County, increasing Pereira's initial city of 10,000 acres to 50,000 acres. This plan would be composed of distinct and intimately scaled villages, each with its own schools, shops, and houses of worship. The plan also called for a new city to take over governance from the county to avoid land annexation 
from neighboring cities coveting Irvine's growing tax base. On December 28, 1971, the city of Irvine was incorporated with an area of 41.6 square miles. A city council and a mayor were elected, a city manager was hired, and another revision of the master plan began. This time, Irvine citizens were given the opportunity to provide insight into the plan. 